Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 5, quarter 3, week number 1. Our learning competency for this day, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to visualize percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. And define percentage, rate, and base and identify the base percentage rate in a problem so let's proceed to lesson number one percent and its relationship to fractions ratios and decimal numbers but before that let's have some recall direction you're going to give the equivalent fraction as shown by the figures you have 10 seconds to answer your timer starts now okay time's up now so this would be the numerator and the denominator so the numerator is the shaded region and the the denominator is the region of a wool now let's define what would be the numerator the numerator is 70 this would be the shaded region and the wool region is 100 so 70 hundreds this would be the answer but we're going to uh, we can express this one into simplest form so the simplest form is 7 tenths and then 7 tenths also can be expressed in ratio 7 is to 10 and then 7 is to 10 is also can be expressed in decimal numbers because parts per hundred is known as percent so we can also express 70 hundreds into 70 percent therefore sev uh, 70 hundreds or 7 tenths is the same as 70 percent okay so percent it means for every 100 the percent sign is used to indicate the percent or per hundred the percent can be changed into a fraction or whose this denominator is 100 or vice versa so take a look at this one so 25 percent we can write this one as 25 per 100. Then 25 hundred can be expressed as decimal. So we can read this one as 25 hundreds. Let's try an example to further analyze this topic. So the numerator and the denominator, this would be the figure. So the first figure is one part is shaded and three part is not shaded. So we have one part for the numerator and four part for the denominator. So one part can be expressed as 25 hundreds because they are equivalent fractions. So the equivalent fraction for 25 hundreds is one part. So this would be the figure for 25 hundreds so again the shaded region is 25 and the region of the whole is 100 so we can easily find the percent the ratio and the decimal and fraction by representing 100 parts so fraction is 25 hundreds or one one fourth Decimal can be rewrite as 25 hundreds because 25 move the decimal point, I count the number of zeros, and then move the decimal point two places to the left. So count the decimal point, we have one, two, and then move the decimal point two places to the left, one, 
to decimal. So this would be the decimal form. And then for the ratio, we have 25 and is to 100 or 1 is to 4. And then for percent, just simply uh, move the decimal point of the decimal uh, representation to the left, uh, to the right. 1, 2, so we have 25 hundreds. Okay, let's proceed to example number 2. How about we have 3 fifth, 3 part is shaded, uh, 5 parts, so we have 3 fifth, and then the equivalent fraction for 3 fifth is 60 hundreds. This would be 100 parts to easily get the decimal numbers, uh, ratio, and the percent. Now, to make this uh, equivalent fraction or 100 part, just multiply this one by, just multiply this one by uh, 20. Just multiply both numerator and denominator by 20. 3 times 20 is 60. 5 times 20 is 100. So we have 100 parts, 100 equal parts. So this uh, 60 is the shaded region and 100 is the whole region of the walls. Or we're going to find the fractions. The fraction part is 3 fifth. And the decimal numbers is okay. So just move the decimal point two places to the left to get the decimal numbers. And then ratio is 3 is to pip. And then to get the percent sign, so percent is 100 parts. So just write a percent to the numerator. So we have 60%. It's easy as that. So let's proceed to example number 3. Direction answer each of the following. Number one, write the percent fraction decimal and the ratio of the shaded region to the region of the wool. So the percent, we have how many shaded region? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 75 percent just easy as that 75 because we have 100 equal parts so the number of shaded region is the percent then the fractional form we have this would be 100 so we have we're going to write 75 and then 100 percent we have 100 just lowest term your answer you are going to get the value of one part because Mm, a three fourth rather report because the common factor is 25 and then the decimal numbers for three fourth we have seven point seventy five hundreds are going to move the decimal to the left and then for the ratio we have three is to four don't forget to lowest term your answer to arrive at the correct answer now let's proceed to example number two give the equivalent of the given percent to fraction decimal and ratio so we have a 60 percent 63 percent so as easy as that you are going to write 63 and then this percent is a hundreds so we're going to write hundreds so 6300 is already expressed in the lowest terms so this would be our answer now to get the decimal numbers you're going to move two places to the left and then write decimal so this would be your answer 6300 and then for the ratio 6300 63 is to hundreds so this would be the correct answer so as easy as that so it's your turn grade five pupils you have one minute to answer this one the direction is you're going to complete the table below 
So, this would be the percent, fraction, decimal, and ratio. We're going to fill in the missing parts. You're, you have one minute. Your timer starts now. We're going to find the fractional form of a 12 hundreds and percent form of 12 hundreds and the ratio of 12 hundreds. Express your answer in the lowest term and then another one is for 3 fourth. So we're going to find the percent form of 3 fourth and decimal form 3 fourth and for the ratio. You have 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Okay, time is up. Now let's rebuild the answer for number one. We have twelve percent because you're going to write this one as a percent because we have an hundred place value. So write it as uh, make this one as a whole number and then write a uh, first and sign. Okay. Next, the answer is 3 and 20, 325 because the fractional form for this one is 12 hundreds. Lowest term, your answer is 650. And lowest term again is 325 okay so to arrive 325 next and then the ratio is 325 and then for the second one we have 75 percent 75 hundreds and 3 and 3 is to 4 oh, so very good, grade 5 pupils. You already know how to have a change a fraction to decimal, decimal to fraction, or you're going to find the percent of the given decimal numbers or a given decimal uh, fra fractions. Now, let's proceed to lesson number 2. Uh, percentage rate and base so we're going to discuss percentage rate and base so when we say rate is a number of hundreds parts taken which is given in terms of percent it appears before the word of so it appears before the word of it is written with a percent sign so if you see a percent sign, it is a rate. Then, for the base, we have refers to the wall of which rates operates. It appears after the word of. After the word of. Or, it is a wool num. It is a wool fart. It is a total. Then the percentage, it is a part. Take note of that. It is a part only, not a whole. It's a part of the base, part of the base to determine by the rate. It appears before, after the word is. So, base is bigger than percentage. Again, the value of base is bigger than the percentage. Percentage is a part of the base. So, let's have an example. 70% of 40 is 28. So, we have... We have a symbol of percent. So, this would be a rate. Again, we have a symbol of percent. This would be a rate. And then, we have... 40 and 28 now let's identify which is the base and the percentage again 
like I said earlier, percentage is a part of the base. So, uh, base is bigger amount of value than percentage. So, 40 is bigger amount of value than 28. So, 40 is the base and percentage is the is 28 now let's try another example Romel has 50 popsicle stick 36 percent of it is red if n is the number of red popsicle sticks how to solve for n now let's identify the rate base and percentage the rate for this one is what? What would be the rate? The rate is we don't have a percent sign, but we have a word percent. So this would be the rate. So we have 36%. We have 36%. This would be the rate. And then the base is what? We have Romel has 50 popsicle stick. 50 is the total number of popsicle sticks. So this would be the base. Base is a total. And then the percentage is for the value of and the unknown. Okay. Let's proceed to example number 2. Again, Richie gave 39 pieces of candies to her friends which is 52 percent of her candies if n is a number of pieces of riches candies how to solve for n so again let's identify the rate the base and the percentage now this time we have see the percent sign so this would be the rate 52 percent again what would be the base the base is let's read again richie gave 39 pieces of candies to her friends so which is 52 percent of her candies if n is a number of uh pieces of Richest candy, how to solve for N. So, to analyze the problem, 52% is the 39. Is 52% of her candies is 39. So, 39 is 52%. So, the base is the unknown part and 39 is the percentage. Okay, let's proceed. Now, this time, we're going to identify the bold and the underlined term word as rate, base, or percentage. We're going to identify what would be, it would be a rate, or a base, or a percentage. Number one, this would be what? A rate, a base, or a percentage. This would be a rate because we have a percent sign. For number 2, N is 75% of 400. N is a 75% of 400. N is the percentage. Again, this would be a percentage because uh, 75 of 400 is a value of n. The value of n is unknown. Next, for number 3, Matt's original weight is 140 kg. If, if it's lost 20% of the original weight, how would he weight now? So, one ha originally. So, originally means... This would be the base. This would be the total. So, the value, the answer now is base. And then for number 4, so 30%, 30% is rate. 
And then for number 5, Arnaldo got 45 out of 50. 45 out of 50 item in math. What part of the test did he answer correctly? So, what part of the test? When we say what part of the test, this would be a part. When we say part, this would be a percentage. We're going to get the part of the test. So, it's your turn. Grade 5 pupils. Again, you have one minute now. Find the percentage base and the rate. So, for number 1, in a birthday party, you have 32% of the visitor are adults. There are 40 adults, adult visitors. Let N be the number of visitors in the birthday party. You have 1 minute to find the rate, base, and the percentage. You have 27 minutes, 27 seconds, other 20 seconds. Ten seconds, grade by pupils. Okay, time's up. So, for number 1, the rate is 32%, the base is 40, and the percentage is the N. So, very good, grade 5 pupils. You already know how to identify the percentage, base, and rate. For your home learning task, you're going to answer uh, assessment, identify the base, rate, percentage, Write your answer under the column. This would be 1 to 5. So that's all. God bless and thank you.